Bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless Hi, thanks for tuning in to our daily inspiration. As always, thank you so much for being here with us, and hopefully you'll be edified with what we've put together for you here. Anyway, this is going to be another short video for all of you, and by the end of this video, you can either feel depressed or scared at just the thought of hell. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, as you can see from the thumbnail of this video, it's something that was shared by the late Father Gabriel Amorth. It was the day when the demon said to Father Amorth, You're so stupid, priest. You know nothing of hell. Here, let me share with you something from Father Joshua Waltz, as he shared that bit of story in Father Amorth's book. You know, that's what people don't talk a lot about, I don't think. <clears throat> you know, one of the pains of hell, in fact, probably the pain of hell, is that you're going to be separated from God. And that is going to cause immense pain because the thing that you could have had, you don't have it anymore. And that's what the devil wants, right? Because what did the devil had? He had relationship with God and he lost it. And so he wants to inflict that pain, that punishment on us. Here's another thing I don't think people think about. There's a book by Father Gabriel Morth. Maybe some of you have heard of him. He's, the, he's passed, I think, a few years ago, but he was the head exorcist of Rome. And uh, he said in his book, he was talking to a demon in the midst of an exorcism, and he gave him a scenario, and he said, what if two people hated each other for their entire life? And, you know, they were just mean to each other, and they hurt each other, and they hurt each other's families. When they die, do they go to hell and hate each other forever in eternity in hell. And the demon, he said, you're so stupid, priest. You know nothing about hell. He said, down here, everyone lives caved in on themselves, torn apart by their regrets. There's no relationship with anyone. Everyone is in profound solitude and weeps over their mistakes. Hell is like a cemetery. If you, like, for a lot of time, I thought, hell, you know, burning fires and flames and, like, it sucks, you know, like, everybody's in relationship. But if you have no relationship with anybody, and the only thing you can ever remember forever is every bad thing you've ever done, I can't think of a worse punishment. I mean, what's the worst punishment for human beings? Solitary confinement. And, but we still have God. You pull that away? I don't know. Something to think about. In fact, the children of Fatima are the best known of those who saw the horrors of hell. The details of their July 13, 1917 apparition goes like this. Our Lady showed us a great sea of fire which seemed to be under the earth. Plunged in this fire were demons and souls in human form, like transparent burning embers, all blackened or burnished bronze, floating about in the conflagration, now raised into the air by the flames that issue from within themselves together with great clouds of smoke, now falling back on every side like sparks in a huge fire without weight or equilibrium, and amid shrieks and groans of pain and despair which horrified us and made us tremble with fear. The demons could be distinguished by their terrifying and repellent likeness to frightful and unknown animals, all black and transparent. This vision lasted but an instant. And I'll end this video with this. We can help save souls from hell's tortures and obtain heaven's glory, as Our Lady told the Fatima children, you have seen hell where the souls of poor sinners go. To save them, God wishes to establish in the world devotion to my immaculate heart. If what I say to you is done, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. She is the surest way to Jesus to whom we pray. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Well then, that will be all for the video this time. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here, and hopefully you've learned a lot from this video. If there's any feedback or suggestion, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, stay safe, stay healthy, and may God bless you.